So what's going on? What's up, TikTok? So after much thought and much deliberation, I decided I'm going to just start talking about TikTok. Yo, first off, fuck them HBCU niggas. Fuck them. And if you, if you have a problem with the content I post, um, look in the mirror and then ask yourself, why are you racist? I have a few clips I'm going to add in here. Um, a few things I'm going to add in here. Um, it's just funny to me when you log into TikTok and you see people, you know, degrading and saying all types of filth. Um, but these same people will be the same people to cry cry as soon as a white person raises their voice to them. Um, they're weak-minded. Um, they lack the integrity that I feel like you need in leadership. And uh, number two, um, a lot of them have racism on their mind 24-7, but then turn around and then to white folks, um, they do the same thing. And it's weird for me because... I'm a person that's fair and balanced, right? So me being fair and balanced is something that's hard for people to watch. So I um, I posted a few things today, and um, I'm going to go over those few things. The number one thing I posted was Kamala Harris. Number two, she's not black. Number three, she's never been black. Number four, she was a prosecutor who prosecuted criminals. I have no problem with prosecuting criminals. My problem is you people complain about the police and you complain about everything and then you turn around and just because she has your skin complexion that you show your fucking um ass and you say oh if you don't vote for her you're not black same thing joe biden biden said neither of those people are black and they are saying this to you because you are the lowest common denominators on the planet not me you 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 you, you're the lowest common denominator. So when they look at you, they, all they see is a, a, a token um, excuse for a person. And it pisses me off because every time y'all fall for the same rat trap. And then let's get to this. These white, white women are expected to, uh, all I see is a bunch of single moms trying to tell white women what they should vote and what they shouldn't vote and how they should vote and what they shouldn't vote for and what they should do this. Whatever happened to the freedom of choice? A woman having the ability to choose to do what she wants. But for some reason, black women just have this knack of one, telling white women they can't do their hair. They can't do this. They can't do that. They can't do this. But now they're supposed to just fall in line. I, I think y'all are mixing up who's in charge in this country and who has the majority. Now, if it was up to me, I wouldn't stand by and just watch it. I would separate and find out who's on your side and who's not. And then I would go about it in the way that I would go about it. But it's sick to me when I see white women succumbing to that that narrative that you have to do what black women say and then you're the responsible party for anything that's ever happened to these people. You must have been in bed with them when they laid up with Pookie. You must have, you must have been the reason their credit score sucks. You must be the reason for all this stuff and you had nothing to do with it. White women, stop listening to these people. These people are the lowest fucking common denominator. So I'm gonna get to these these TikToks, right? Because the biggest TikToks I had today were based off of um, a black woman saying Kamala Harris is, for, is is running a game on y'all, and the fact that y'all gonna listen is only for one reason, one reason only: skin complexion. Not to do with anything she's ever done. Um, the people in Oakland do not like this lady. I do not like this lady. I do not see how anyone could even vote for this lady. But here we are. Now, where is Joe Biden? Is he alive? Is he dead? Where is he? We don't know. They're not going to fucking tell us. They, they hold the mask. That's why I like Donald Trump. That's exactly why. Donald Trump, would, Donald Trump was so upfront that he would have he told us. You don't think he's trying to find out what's going on? But see, my other thing is this, right? Back to these HBCU Negroes. Um, your degrees are worthless. And not only are they worthless... A lot of you come out of school in the most debt per capita. It's, it's, it's funny how y'all go to these schools and y'all learn about math and you learn about things, but you, per percentages you do not understand. 
So by percentage, HBCU um, applicants come out of college um, with more debt per capita than anyone in a, and then, than the majority at the PWI. Why doesn't why is this hard for y'all to follow? Like, is it just selective outrage? You don't know what you don't know how to be outraged. Um, it's just weird for me. So go watch my TikToks. I'm gonna have the TikTok at the end. Go to go watch all my TikToks, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the main focus for the tonight, because I'm gonna just start recapping, is the fact that white women want to be left alone. Y'all always shouting at white women, shouting, shouting, shouting. White women didn't, women didn't have nothing to do with your insecurity, your lack of resource, your lack of want to do. They have basically built a pillar and been, a, and been an asset to black women and supported every step of the way. The problem is a lot of them have become weak because they, they, they just sit there and take the abuse from y'all. I, I implore white women to stop doing that. What good has came out of it? Someone tell me. All I'm saying is this, right? A lot of y'all white women with mixed kids, if y'all took a step back, you would see the racism being played to you. The video of that girl charging a white woman $700 to do her nappy, unnapped hair is wrong. That's, that's discrimination. That's, that's hateful. I'll never support it. But they will support it. Go look at the comments. I'm just telling y'all, I'm going to just start talking. This is just me getting off an airplane. I'm tired. I'm going to post this on TikTok. If y'all come watch it, I may do more. I might just start breaking down one video at a time and then go from there and give my true and honest opinion because I can't say shit on TikTok without someone filing a uh, uh, complaint. And it's sad because you think freedom of speech. They say everything they want to say. But as soon as I say it, I'm wrong. Y'all let me know.